this is another video about Czech Republic Ostrava city in particular where I was brought from United States of America from year 1995 to mid 2006 for a torture purposes uh, for dehumanization for degradation uh, with the idea of the US government to literally kill God in me it went on under Bill Clinton and it did went on during George W. Bush's administration uh, then even under Obama but I would not go after Obama because he did have a different agenda from Donald Trump whose idea was actually to whack me from the day one when the torture commenced when drugged up uh, brought on behalf of London Buckingham Palace Royals Elizabeth Queen Elizabeth um, Berlin Angela Merkel uh, German we already know what that's all about that's not a news and then even some Eastern European politicians such as Vladimir Putin. Uh, the idea was more than just uh, human degradation, torture, sadistic torture. It was much more behind all this. They had plan uh, to use me for advancement of New World Order agenda. Uh, the conspiracies which were real ordeals used to Donald Trump for the presidential agenda between 2016 and all the way through 2020. Uh, he eventually hoped for the second term. Um, so he used the real ordeals he subjected me through uh, when I had to go after the proofs to defend his insanity on a political stage. He needed the world of conspiracies. He needed the real proofs. He needed the real stuff. And he needed to hide behind himself behind a sane person because he's completely insane. And he got an entire backup from Eastern European politicians whom he had paid a good dollars for this kind of stuff. Uh, he made a contract with them and they did assisted men who finally failed even at surprise of some of them we have people like this also in Slovenia that um, they are very disappointed uh, that he failed and some as you know are in Poland and also in the Czech Republic like Andrzej Babic uh, Andrzej, Andrzej Babic uh, and then you have Polsky, Andrzej Duda, and Mateusz Morawiecki, Kaczynski, and people like that. People who laid, well, who paid full respect to the SS, uh, to the neo Nazis uh, in Munich, and the graveyard, and so on, to the Nazi collaborators, and so on. We have people like this here too in Eastern Europe. I think it's coming to an end. We have a Vladimir Putin in Russia, uh, but it was like this. It was tough. And let's continue. Uh, Ostrava Czech Republic. I'm going to start actually with Ostrava Czech Republic 1996. Just something interesting I'm going to tell you about. And this is just going to be, I, I, I just, Ostrava is just packed with a lot of proofs. But I don't have a time to pay all that attention to because I have like physical proofs in hand. So I'm not going to go and play with stuff that is less worthy than stuff that is like top of the line stuff. So I, I'm just going to continue with that kind of stuff. Uh, Ostrava, September the 3rd of 2020, on my way back from Ostrava. Czech Republic to Poland to Halbki, uh, right through the border 
where I stayed at a petrol station, at a uh, gas station, fuel station, Orlen. Uh, on my way back, I identify yet another, well, not only the people, the residents, uh, but the route. And this was supposedly my first time in a Czech Republic in a city of Ostrava. The uh, old route that uh, they were trying to, you know, omit facts about one. But I got recognized and, uh, and certain people, state officials and uh, people, some people gave me a green light and others, uh, they, feel, they felt very, very uncomfortable about what went on. It's got a lot to do with the politics. Let's just continue. September the 3rd of 2020, uh, basically this is going to be the tape you are going to, we're going to go by. Uh, the tapes are right here. These are the tapes for September. These two tapes, I think. So, let's speak. Before I will even go with uh, with the tape, I am going to stop at this place here. It's called now Hotel Metropol, you see. This is in a Czech Republic, in a city of Ostrava, you see that? And you see a building like this, and you see all that stuff. Not the, none of that stuff was here. Nothing was like this. This, the name of the Hotel Metropol, this is actually because we stayed here in a Hotel Metropol. It was not a hotel, it was a private, private apartment building. It was, it was no hotel here. But the owner of Hotel Now Metropol in Czech Republic got to know me. He got to know me. And my family just happened to be owners of a place in a city of the Novo Mesto, which is now known as a Terme, Terme Kirka. This used to be a hotel with the name Hotel Metropole. This was a real, this was the first, and I think maybe in the world, the number one only one place in the center of the city actually of the Novo Mesto our family used to own this place here this was a, this was a real hotel metropole so that this here this this is a this is the original hotel metropole and our family used to own this thing they changed to the hotel Kirkano like the name of the river. They renovated everything. Uh, they really fixed the place really, really nicely. But after the Second World War, this was taken away from our family, understand? It was nationalized, uh, the property and so on and so forth. I have no idea whether they sold it. I don't know what it was the case. But this is the original one and only in this world, Hotel Metropole just one there was some place according to Merkel uh, something they they claimed that it was in Austria uh, in Vienna uh, that was another hotel metropole but I doubt it I don't think it was I don't think it was as old as the one I am talking about the building that you have seen that's a really old building in the city of the Novo Mesto I think our place was before this Vienna place. I know this that Merkel talked about something in Vienna that there was another hotel metropole. I don't think so. Look, I doubt it. That's basically one thing I want to accent. Uh, this, we would stay in this place in 96, 97, 98. This was the first location in Ostrava we would stay. This was the street. 98 and stuff like this, you know, 99 even. Uh, should know this street here that 
they told me that I would have to do that I would have to remember all this stuff. A uh, Donald Trump, this is just um, this is just a liar. This is a psychopath. This is a maniac. Um, this, what you see here, this vehicle here that you see, it's called uh, Lancia Delta. And uh, the Donald Trump uh, wanted to know everything from me about what kind of car I like, what, uh, you know, he wanted to know, so he was obsessed with me completely. What kind of car, what this, what that. And because of this car, because I told him about this car, yeah, I told him about this car, this is what he then glued on his, uh, as a choice of, uh, of the vehicles. He glued this onto, um, like, this is the car also that he likes. He had no fucking clue about Lancia. He had no idea about the Lancia. The Lancia, the idea about the Lancia he got from me. Chris, his son out of the wedlock, we went to Italy, he tested the car and he was completely insane. But about the car and in general about my ideas I had. He had no idea about these things. This is just a Donald Trump. Donald Trump is, is... They used to talk about the fake Chinese watches. Let me explain to you something. There is nothing more fake in this world than Donald Trump. Nothing is more fake than Donald Trump. Through what you see here, through this, through my case, Lancia eventually even developed a new Lancia. We were in the city, I think the city is Torino, whatever it is, and I met eventually in person a new engineer, a engineer who designed the new Lancia, basically. This is not a joke. He says, this is just the fakest man in the whole wide world. Uh, for those that, that somehow admire the, the, the Mr. Donald Trump. Let's go with the tape. As I stated, this goes all the way to... September the 3rd of 2020. If somebody wants to um, doubt about my... That girl right there gave me a confirmation, you see. I came from that street right there. And an old, old road. Actually, the roads that I remember from 97, they no longer even exist. It's, everything is fenced. Just somebody want to push luck. See this here? This intersection here? It's this Betonachka right there. This is actually where we would head right there. Did you see that fence? Right straight to that fence to Hawupki back. Otherwise, I have no idea how far it is. I'm without the GPS, I'm without anything. I don't have the internet, I don't have anything. So, I am doing my own walking according to my memory today on September the 3rd, 2020, when I was looking for the job. And so, they told me I'm not gonna bother because they told me you're not gonna make it through. It's the whole set of housing that uh, just one moment, the one who told me that I would not make it through, uh, that would actually be Americans. Uh, in particular, here is my man. Okay. That's Mr. Daniel Smith in this video, maybe. Uh, all through that I, I'm going to do the stuff that he didn't really teach me about and it's kind of a crazy stuff that I do have a capacity to recall the stuff even about before he was in the picture uh, this man is just when I think about how much this this man sacrificed um, I think he kind of saw me like his own son I would say um, he did few things that he shouldn't well that's what he was paid for by Donald Trump uh, but other than that you know he just um, how can I say he had his uh, 
it was more to him. It was it was more to him than just uh, just something, just something out there. Uh, he, I'm gonna explain as we go along along the the video. And no, there was no internet. There was nothing that day. Um, I didn't have any internet. Uh, I didn't have until like 14th of September 2020. And that's basically the day when they also stole me the phone and everything. No GPS, no nothing, no nothing. I'm just going back, and I'm going right through the memory, basically. I just follow where to basically go, and the picture just, just the windows just open, and I come to this intersection, and I see on the intersection I can't go on anymore because I remember um, that we no longer would go through here because it was finished. It, it was over. It was game over. You know, whatever that is, I have no idea what I'm going to see next. I remembered it was, that is housing now and stuff. But like this, you know, in 97. Yeah, 97, 98. Ago, 96. This is where we would go. And I think it changed. I think it changed sometimes in... I think it had changed sometimes in 2015. No, man. Uh, 2015, uh, they totally, totally finished, uh, sealed the place. Uh, like, they put this ultimate fence, is basically what I mean. Okay, I am referring to this particular place here. This is what I'm referring to. Um, finished here. You can't go through anymore. Uh, game over. Um, you can't go through here anymore. Uh, but this, this, this is this. You, you're about to see just how old this stuff is. This stuff so old that even the people that would bring me back on the picture, they would no longer remember the stuff. And they have seen this with their eyes. And I saw it being basically drugged up. Okay, from completely different aspect, basically. So the lady, as I stated, uh, it's right here. And just to explain to you something, um, including the audio, reco uh, the video recording you have just seen, uh, it was on a tape. It was on a tape uh, because I always use the second uh, audio device. Uh, this is what we are talking about. We're talking about several hour long. Now, audio recording this one here in particular five hours and a half and then we have another one here another hour and 20 minutes so you see we have about seven hours of audio recording right here uh, on this on these tapes here right so this is something that I would play with actually I think I'm not even sure maybe this one and this one not that bad but definitely everything on the tape the first thing I did was, the first thing uh, I have eventually asked the lady here that comes by, uh, and once the lady comes by, I get the confirmation, uh, except that this is not the truth in particular. The first thing I did was I eventually, this is my mistake, make a video recording. The first thing I did was I made a video recording, then I asked for the confirmation because I don't do stuff unprofessionally. This, however, now it really, really got me. This is the wrong statement here because I stated that the lady came by and then gave me a green light. Uh, the first thing I did before I even asked a question, but so it doesn't matter, it's all on the tape, uh, whoever needs this stuff. As I stated, I'm not going to go over this stuff. It's right here. These are the two audio recordings that are going to prove the authenticity of what I have just stated right now. Facts. The lady comes by and gives me a green light. That is correct. 
that used to be a road for Halbke. Okay, really, really uh, simple that we're not going to waste time with this stuff here. This is the location here. The only thing I know is I don't have a time for that. This and nothing else precisely this here. This is the location we are talking about. This is the location, this is the intersection I am standing at. And basically this here, this is what I want to go through. I want to go through here but now it's finished it's fenced off uh, you can't go through here anymore uh, there is a fence here as you see it and for that matter I asked the lady when have they changed this it was like a 15 years ago you now she gave me the green light about this this was a road on Hopke people know it people from here know this um, 15 years ago, however, they started with a construction. That was like in the year 2005. Everything around here started to change tremendously, right? I accent this. This is where we would go through, right here, forest and Iha. And I'm going to demonstrate to you a little bit more about this stuff, okay? Uh, as I continued, with idea to at least somehow get closer to all this. I'm just gonna zoom out here because there's no there's no point in, in, in wasting time here with this. As I continued, I did go through the intersection anyways. I didn't go through here obviously. I didn't go through here, but I continued, continued, continued. Let me see that. I did go through this uh, place here that you see and this is a farm you know which basically looks like this that's a beautiful little goat oh this is insane eh? This, yes, this is where we used to go through Halbke, you know, and what exactly do you see here? You know? okay. 
you see this grass you see totally if you would say that this was the road to somewhere well the only time you would say this and this is all everything right here on the tape everything is recorded everything as I walk as I record everything nothing is here omitted nothing here is stopped everything the proofs are all at hand you would not know what you're talking about you could end up being insane called insane at least right through here that is so correct hop now I can't really zoom into this stuff here but there is a pond here that you see now this pond before was much bigger and in year 1995 in 1996 this pond was like completely completely out of control this pond was like am I gonna stop like this all I see here was a mess this was just um, a grass here like uh, grass and uh, just like you see it here right now um, it would be if it would be like a lot of water that would rain or something like this it would increase and you could not even go through here and if you would go you would wet yourself I we ended up wet here they had some kind of whatever they did placed across this pond they did not know what to do with it uh, they were gonna even get rid of it or whatever it was the case and somehow they did not the pond is there and uh, somehow was moved to that side and so on and now at this place here these people know me very well the lady that was here a mom from individual you're about to hear knew me really 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 well unfortunately she was no more around to give me a green light and this individual that I'm about to speak to that's her son this guy was everything but friendly with me uh, he did not like me not even a little bit in a little bit I will explain everything Yeah, this the only th the only way you would know this if you would be there. Yeah, well, this is this is the property I am talking about. I can't go dressed up like this anywhere, right down there. I'm not gonna go and see it more. Try my luck like that. We'll not do this. Not needed to do that. Oh, what a beautiful goat. She moved that tail so beautifully. I am going to talk to the man from this property you have just seen. this I already got the recognition from the lady that here used to be the road to Haupki uh, it I love animals. I do. Heh, <laughs> goat was really beautiful. Friendly. <laughs> I told me talking to them. Playing with them. I feed them with the grass, whatever. Okay. 
and I want to get the recognition from this man, you know, on this farm. I hoped for the lady to be still alive uh, so that I could talk to her. Okay, here I will stop a little bit. Uh, the owner now of this building is like this. This always, according to my memory, was a security officer. Ah, uh, I don't know. He dressed himself in a in a in a in a uniform uh, and. It does look somewhat like a Putin, like a Vladimir Putin, and he is, he's got a lot of extra kilos, and he's extremely violent, I have to, I have to tell you that. Um, he used a dog, a German Shepherd, huge. Uh, I would acknowledge him as a schizophrenic, as a real schizophrenic, and violent that would actually get into my face when I was drugged up and would have this dog that you're about to hear uh, barking literally in my face, holding the dog on the leash, uh, threatening that he's gonna release one at any time, yelling at me that I'm a Nazi and stupid shit like this. No, no, this is, this is the MK Ultra. You are just getting a real taste. And one time, a security guard, we did not get there yet, that is in the city lodge where I came from, uh, threatened with a pit bull that he would do the same thing. So, it was a lot of violence. You do get a taste of this dog now, you hear. Um, this was sometimes, I am not sure, was it in 2013 or 2015, they had me in Ostrava in this very location, in this, in this area here, and probably 2015, I would say, and that's, that's the way it was, it was that, um, this kind of stuff. Now, I don't have any kind of intentions to go after the people to retaliate to them or anything like this like that all I wanted to do at this point is basically collect my stuff uh, and just move on um, the people basically had two choices uh, either to be part of the solution or in often cases to continue to be part of the problem because you know but the people like this are part of the problem always either way the people that did the stuff like this were part of the problem anyways but most of them decided to be part of the solution but you know uh, I don't actually get anything from him he's just uh, he's holding this dog just as he promised me he would if you're gonna come back the dog might actually get out. I'm not going to be able to hold him and he's going to jump across the fence and tear you apart. This is a huge, huge, huge dog. Uh, huge dog, which however did not make that kind of impression on me because I'm standing right there, right next to the fence and I am just uh, basically talking to him. He had a choice basically. This is not how you talk to the person especially not to someone you have done stuff like this. Um, he could put the dog elsewhere, inside of the house or whatever, uh, talk to me like a human, talk to human, but he have chosen a different path. That, however, does not stop me from asking him questions.
Uh, you're talking about two dogs, but one is like violent in particular. But usually dogs are violent when the owners are violent. Uh, the owner later on would come back in the picture. Uh, he would come back in the picture and uh, tried to realize that he was observed by others. Realizing that he was observed by the government. Oftentimes he didn't know what the fuck they were doing. In the, in the schizoia, in the schizophrenia, these people would do the stuff that was just totally, completely insane. Um, I guess that due to their political views, they were forgiven. Even that schizophrenics, they were forgiven about the stuff they did. Uh, the government, the Czech government, whether that would be a Czech government, a Polish government, it wouldn't bother them as long as it would be in line with whatever expectations, whatever. is act, acting really stupid uh, but again he was not the only one it that happened before in in on a, in old Bokumen the owner had a dog too that was like giant dog and you drugged up and they brought me there and he threatened me also that the dog is gonna rip me apart if I'm ever even gonna come close in that street and stuff like that this this was a normal thing the other day I said I demonstrated Mike Tyson once, he was subjected to MK Ultra, and I said multiply that with a thousand. No, no, no. In this case, uh, it's more than one thousand. It's more than one thousand, and I know so because it was more than, it was more than one thousand days that I was subjected to. So that, that every day that went by, the number of issues they <laughs> they used the amount of issues the amount of people and stuff like this is this was <laughs> this was something else you have no idea actually about what really went on Okay, uh, I asked him about, sir, I just want to ask you a question. No, I really don't want any kind of problems. People have problems, whatever it might be. And I asked him, sir, sir there was a road here uh, to help you, right? Am I correct about that? And he already says, no, he says, basically he says, yes. And then something happens and he completely changes his mind. Uh, I don't know. I think that he observed actually that I did record this stuff, something like this. Uh, he was like, not, not really. Although I believe that he recognized me really well. He knew who exactly who I was. Uh, I don't know why all of a sudden 
he changed that into that he doesn't know and this and that. You know, this is interesting. Uh, I said, uh, he said, uh, I, I pointed out in a direction on his property. I asked him, uh, this is, this is, this, it used to be a passage here that you could, that you could, uh, that you could go through. And he said, yes. I said, but this, this is no longer exists. This, this passage that you could go through for about 20 years, something like this. Um, and he said that I do not know. Uh, he gave me a confirmation that used to be uh, the way to get through there. And of course, I know this without even going down there and trying to get some kind of physical proof, something like that. I remember all that stuff. Okay, let's ensure about this stuff here. 11.45, let me do it like this. Uh, along this fence here that you see, along the fence, well, basically exactly where I am right right there where I am. This, this is where you would go right down there, down to this valley and through the valley you would just go up there through that road and you would continue on the other side by asking how old is the gentleman how old is the gentleman I said, how old are you, sir? Uh, if I may ask you, you definitely remember me, don't you? Yeah. He says, no, 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 he says. <coughs> I said, are you sure you don't? No, 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 I don't. I ask him about the mom. Can I please talk to your mom? You know, mom. 
It was not a mom, it was a grandma, and she is in a grave already. He is not so, I said that he is young and this and that. He's not so young, he's got at least 35 right there. Uh, she passed away seven years ago. Uh, seven years ago, this gentleman, um, he was just came up like completely victoriously against me. Um, this is interesting because sometimes I think in 2010 it was he never liked me this guy um, that he's going to be taking over and this and that and I guess in 2013 she passed away and the only thing this guy would do is he would be coming to this fence and just threaten always whenever they brought their drug up uh, he bitched at Daniel Smith at psychologist you have just seen who would keep bringing me back on a picture don't bring him here anymore I told you this I told you that um, it's not a easy thing uh, in 2013 I'm not gonna be able to do it for you anymore and I don't want to see you and this and that and it's just completely violent I keep repeating there was a path to Halki right through here. There was a path to Halki definitely. Uh, how he would not remember me. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, this is not her son. Uh, however, whenever we would come here, he always was there. He would always be on a picture. Why well, actually, I might be even wrong. He might be like 30 years old. Um, this is really, really, really easy. Um, as I am standing here at this location right here, um, right next to his home now, this is what he got for his grandma. I concentrate on this thing here. I see this lot here. This, and I see this companies here and stuff like this. I, I'm just going to put it this way. All right. I'm just going to put it this plain and simple. Um, if I zoom here inside, uh, before I will, because I don't want to repeat this stuff. One house was here somewhere. I am not sure. Was it here or here? I am not sure. There were actually maybe even two houses here. I know that. Um, another one that was taken down was here. This was another house. And you're not talking about the house, you're talking about garages. You're talking about the garages. Just as Daniel Smith told me. We don't have a time for that either. Okay. Uh, the gardens that you see here, the gardens that you see here always were like this. Um, Elon Musk, he would just step right across the 
fence. There was no high fence or anything like this. They would walk through it. It kind of reminded me of Greek, Greece or something like that. And people had a really interesting taste for uh, the exterior. I remember these stones. I remember these things. Uh, they did take really, really few improvements, almost really, really nothing. They did some improvements. Now, I did not go down here uh, because here uh, it always was a water here. Now they make this like a pond. Uh, the pond was built here, I assume, sometimes. Like, I think they got in enough, sometimes probably like after 2000, I estimate, right? But when we would come here, this would be like a swamp here. It would be like swamp. You would, you would, you would get like wet. I don't remember that would be some kind of uh, anything. This, they, they fixed, they cleaned up all this stream here. Uh, so it look, I assume, decent. This housing here that you see, even that I was told that is new, this is not new. The only thing they did with this stuff that you see here is they have big time, big time remodeled from the outside, this stuff. This is all remodeled, all this stuff is it's a big, big, big ass remodelation that totally, totally, totally looks different from original structures. The original structures, boy, they look completely different. It was actually so effing different that when I walked through here, uh, I don't remember the original structures having this, what you see on the top, this with these top windows, these things. These were just like roofs from what I remember that even even the roof looked completely different you can see here very very different the entrances look completely different and um, I guess that from the outside they they, they make it more uh, far more appealing painted and I think they probably added a, a isolation is uh, I, I don't know how you say that on the outside versus what I was told that all this stuff is new and so on and so forth. Yeah, this stuff here that you see, this stuff is all, they fix it. This is also all new, they fix it. When the hell was this stuff done? Well, this stuff, you know, this stuff was done, I estimate probably sometimes if I would go to time, I estimate sometimes in here. I would go like for 2003, something like this, I would go. I would hit into year 2000 and 2002, 2003, I would hit this, right? That's basically what I would do. Now let me see if I can explain to you what exactly this structure here used to look like, because this man here did too much work that I would ignore one. Um, this, this what you see here, this was a type of structure uh, that was located just as I have stated you a little earlier. Um, in this piece of the property here um, and whatever I demonstrated you. This here that you see, this kind of stuff here, maybe was on this side. Uh, however, there were no fences or anything like this. If we go back here, I have no idea what is here now. The only thing I can do is I told you already exactly what I told you. You, you could cross uh, on foot from one property to the other. It was really interesting, kind of a, really reminded me, really, really strange, but interesting, beautiful, but more than anything, beautiful people. Okay. The companies, these companies that you see. Just to put it in a plain and simple perspective uh, picture, it's like really, really simple. Uh, this is the stuff that uh, Mr. Daniel Smith made it very easy for me. He was the one that I can say this. I can this I can say this I can credit him for this here. This is definitely something that I got to thank him for this one. 
stuff that I'm about to say right now. Uh, this is a Staubany. This is like uh, building material, kind of. And this here is a Vinoteca, like a winery. Uh, thanks to uh, Daniel Smith, always was here. Thanks, man. Um, this goes to my memory. Let's just let me just finish this stuff before I go anywhere. This always was here. And then I'm going to resort myself again to my own memory here. And this is we're just going to go this way like this. Hoppa. Year 2000 and uh, one, 2002, 2001 I give you. Um, this building new, completely newly built. This building completely newly built. Uh, and completely newly built. Um, let me see. Here. This is this is newly built. This was a newly built from scratch. Nothing in a model or anything like this. Yeah, I can't see much here about this stuff here. Um, it does me no good. The job here about this stuff is done, as far as I'm concerned. We are going to go back to the property here. The property we would cross one and we would continue on this side here. In a little bit you're going to hear the gentleman um, who is totally, totally government related uh, individual. Totally government related individual who will say some stuff that he doesn't know anything about it as well. And another lady also will not know nothing as well. They were all involved. Uh, as much as I did not get angry with this schizophrenic I have just spoken with, I did got angry with him and that's when I left. Um, I left because this schizo, this is not a schizophrenic, this is a political guy you're going to hear me talking to next, affiliated with a mayor from Ostrava. The mayor from Ostrava uh, ordered him obviously not to give me a green light on this road. Uh, this is the man who built his entire fucking career. Like I said, I didn't get upset with the schizophrenic, but when I'm talking to someone who was a nobody and got the property here, literally because of involvement in this case, and got a job a really really lucrative job and pay and everything a uh, beautiful car standing over there in front of his completely remodeled um, I left uh, either his house uh, but I don't think that's a house from what I remember that was like a vintage home like a home that you would go like for the end of the week or something like this and he would not even give me an answer that I asked him in fact was the one who was telling me, instructed me under MK Ultra to completely disregard the road to Haupki I'm talking about right now because according to him that I'm gonna fuck it up because he alone had a trouble to understand how you go down there and then you're gonna go up there and what are you gonna tell them man how are you gonna explain this these are his instructions under MK Ultra what translates into not only fucking me up, but also man who brought me time and again, basically to this place, so he could help me out. Because you don't damage me only, you damage him, and you saw him so many times, he brought me to this place with intention to nothing but help, basically, to give me assistance, to help me out, with memorizing this very particular road to Haupki. 
and he would just not give me uh, this green light that it really really made me upset uh, and it's basically what I rather left basically you're gonna hear this in a little bit uh, I can understand that people have all kinds of troubles but when you do the stuff like this that you actually try to brainwash uh, even on issue like this so that I would not be able to find uh, a place that's that's not okay when Mr. Smith, Mr. Daniel Smith, was not on a picture yet, a few years earlier, I and Chris would basically descend right here. This is all the information he inherited from uh, from other MK Ultra staff members. We would get down here, and then he would keep bringing me back, so I would memorize. Then we would get up here. Uh, we would go past this homes, right? And then it would depend. They they instructed me that this under MK Ultra, just to give you an idea of how how difficult this is, uh, that these are all rem uh, the first uh, this one here. They make several scenarios. The first scenario they made it was that this was all built new, that the old buildings were uh, demoluted, and this was an old new construction that it belonged to this guy who started the business here and so on. Um, obviously that I already have explained the real version. The second version they started then there was just the first line here that was the old one and the two, this one and this one, they were newly built. Uh, this was extremely, extremely, extremely violent place for MK Ultra. Electroshocks, beatings, dogs barking, uh, completely, completely insane stuff. It looks like the mayor of Ostrava was very, very angry about me, and I think he was angry. It wasn't about the area of the people so much. It was about political issues. Uh, now, I want to accent something else in respect to that. It could have been also someone else that was very angry with me. I already have explained about the Babish, Andre Babish. I don't know about if it was a mayor of Ostrava that took initiative to destroy me in this very location. It could have been also Babich. Babich is on the federal level. A mayor of Ostrava is just a mayor of Ostrava. I cannot tell you. The police of Ostrava alone told me that if something is going to happen like this, and they're going to break my car and stuff like this, is going to be on Babish, his request. They told me this information. So I know more about Bobbish now, definitely, than I did back then, because I thought, that, honestly, that he was on my side, that he was a friend. It's not like this. With the Crystal, uh, we would just had, actually, uh, down here, that's Donald Trump's son of wedlock, most likely. Down here, and basically up here, we would not even go here to the streets. We would not go. And right through here, and here, and here, and here, and right through here. Look, you see this? You see this? You see this? Crazy, huh? Okay. The field that you see here was just uh, about a quarter of what you see now. Do you understand? This here that you see was just a quarter of the size that you see now, back then, in year 96, in year 95, in 96, and 97, it was just a quarter of the size of what you see now here. You want to test my memory about the MK Ultra, these are the facts, it doesn't matter what you do, but the local people can easily confirm this information. I would, of course, not know if I wasn't there. And he and I, we would just like this, we would just cross, it was a grass like this, it was a tall grass, wild, completely wild, like something like this, you know what I'm saying? We would just cross, uh, let's suppose that what you see here used to look, uh, it's exactly about the way it used to look like uh, when it was smaller, it also looked like this, it was like I don't know how the hell this thing was done. 
it was like like this and it was like that and the only thing we would do is we would cross but here somewhere something like this something like this something like this something like this and we would make it here and it would be like you would cross something like this like a little field you know like a little field you would cross right here and you would be on the other side and then you would basically continue and this must have been actually right here like this like this a little bit field we would go a little bit through the field and then we would go around basically we, we wouldn't go and then you would just continue here toward this street here that you see it's called this one here and this one let me make sure that I don't have a full screen here screen and this one and this one and this one and then this one and this is basically what I'm gonna zoom myself inside like this and then there were two routes to help key yeah one route was this route here now what this is the property that became big time remodeled and this here I think this was even added I am not sure the fence everything was was um, modernized um, this object this building here I think I think it was added this one was added there were two things added one was this one added and then also what was added if you want to call if you want to take a phone in your hands and you want to call this gentleman who by the way also is my friend he was very angry with me of course but that's okay a road would go exactly where he placed this here whatever this is I don't know what this is but exactly what you see here is exactly where the road uh, basically would go okay so you would go right through here and then through this forest you would go to Halpke this was one way and once he fenced this once our friend uh, fenced this stuff uh, let me see this also this thing here let me see this thing here what exactly he added here some fence or something like this it was but I'm not sure I'm not sure I think that this what you see here this stuff here this is an actually added fence or is it a rebuilt fence or whatever the issue was we would just go actually I think I am Uh, mistaken here this here this is this something had to do with the fence this here this and the other side this is basically what was fenced something like this but let me see something anyways good because we don't have a time for this stuff this stuff yeah I I think I think it was actually fenced I think I think I think I think I think it was fenced because um, I'm not gonna be able to do this but I can do that here is here is this thing here this is a new fence this is they fenced all this stuff and it was finished it was no more whatever the hell this is I don't even know what it is but this is when it all ended it was no more now when have they done this I do not know but this is where you would go to help you know what I want to do is I'm going to zoom myself out right now yeah, it looks exactly like this and basically this would be this thing here uh, you would enter the forest you would go through the forest 
uh, and you would continue with go it would be something like this tank 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 like this like this somehow I don't even know how uh, but you would come out exactly what you see here this is like a park that Americans oftentimes they would even camp and stuff like this there is a beautiful 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 stream but the stuff I am talking about right now and you're gonna see that on the video this goes to year 96 97 this goes horrifically back in time <laughs> uh, and if I put this stuff like this for you to demonstrate you where you come out let's say let's say all these buildings that you see here all this stuff here that you see I can go on and I can do all that stuff everything everything really a mistake this is a little bit tricky here just a little bit it is a little bit tricky here let me explain uh -huh. here uh, when I was there folks you couldn't see anything through here it, it was had <laughs> this when it's when it's flourishing the nature it's amazingly beautiful this is just this gorgeous beautiful beautiful stream clean beautiful stream that comes from this park what a place for camping and for the stuff like this it's actually really it's a gorgeous place it's a really really beautiful place maybe this is something I should have done and I have not and I do kind of a regret I did not beautiful beautiful place now here you have some interesting stuff too some other time you're going to discuss that one that's basically is um, where you got out. See this here? This is exactly where you would enter over there. You would get basically right through here. And remember when I told you, you, you would enter. You would enter right here. At this location here. Therefore, you would go on like this you would go on like this like this like this 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 with a Chris it would be actually here through here like this we would go like this like this with uh, Americans, oh, forget about. With Americans, it would be through here, through here, and through here. They had more time. They had more time. Um, they had more time, whatever the hell they were doing. Uh, some stupid stuff. Um, you name it either from this street if they didn't know what they were doing maybe through that one and so on and so forth um, eventually I am not even completely sure the possibility has it that eh, I'm not sure there was one of the new houses that was built here and I think it was built right in the middle of another road and so on and so forth that really doesn't matter you would enter exactly as I have explained you would come to this intersection here this intersection here and you would enter basically the forest if I zoom myself into this what have I come to earlier oh, we don't want to do this uh, through this point here you would enter through this here this is where you would get in through here if I zoom myself out through here and you would exit basically here and when you, you would exit 
here it would look like this. You know, it's probably 98. They have probably fenced that property, something like this. They no longer would allow anyone to get through. I remember the neighbor, I was brought that he had a... They did put, they had had did put some fence and stuff like this. You know, it was about the so fence. On. And then it was the end of it. But, you know, I remember when it was just a total fuck up over there, excuse me, uh, like this. A mush, basically, a water inside, uh, a lot of grass. Talking about the pond. Inside. Uh, I'm talking about the pond earlier I have demonstrated. This is the pond here at the beginning that, I, that you have seen. There was no pond. It was just, this is basically what it was. And maybe just something that you could just squeeze yourself right through, basically. The water was. It was quite a large water. A pool of water was there. You you should just hope that you wouldn't get inside. No, not that you would. The water was enough water that you know you would get wet, really. Um, actually, you know. They did not know what to do with it. They were thinking about to either get completely rid of it, or to actually fix uh, uh, like a little pond, which they did. What it was, I'm gonna tell you what what it was okay it uh, the pond was done probably i estimate sometimes i in year 1990 1998-1999 one of the first things that was done eventually was this here this pond here this was one of the first things that was done probably the maybe even the first improvement i have no idea it was very early on this improvement yeah but this is what it looks like in the summertime what you have just seen here uh on a google maps right now basically yeah so it's a different different completely different picture it's just a total fuck up over there excuse me uh like this actually you know uh wooden made through that was already half broken that you could still somehow walk through. That's the way it was. Okay, so the only thing I am gonna do right now, at this point in time, because I already did collected proofs, I, the only thing I do is I collect more proofs. Basically, at the end of all this recording, I'm gonna actually put a separate, the whole audio recording, so you can pay attention to that. Uh, I, ta I, I, anyways, I, I thank the gentleman who had this dog barking and all this stuff, and I, I continue. Uh, I go my way. Um, I think not his fault. Uh, that's all I do. We don't have a time for that stuff. Because there are other neighbors I want to ask, and now it comes to that situation as I have explained. He's asking idiotic questions also if I want to buy it and stuff like this. I mean, this is this guy's completely bizarre, you know. This is very difficult, folks, uh, because of this kind of stuff, you know. Uh, this can be a real trouble. They do that kind of stuff. This is, like I said, this was. I am trying to talk to him. I'm trying to talk to him. There is no way. The schizophrenic is in his uh, mode and he will not give any answers, whatever. 
Um, individual like this, not really a, a part of solution, anything like that. Back then, he claimed that uh, uh, he saw himself like a Putin or something like that, because he somewhat does remind of physique of Vladimir Putin, really. Um, he was not happy about, he talked something about the racism and stuff like that. Uh, and now the individual um, has a completely different issues because, you know, I am nothing about the racism, really. This is in his head, really. This is what the people like this guy actually created. Yeah, but again, this is a political thing. Uh, and it could be because, like I said, it wasn't about who, what, this and that. It was about the politics more than anything else. So that's that. Grandma 11 years died already ago and grandfather 7 years ago. Grandparents, his grandparents did not even like him. I remember, they did not even like this guy. This is the direction I continue. I come up to this here that you see. The lady you are about to hear uh, is like this. This is the lady that was involved in MK Yadra, who was 
a Czech lady, 100% she will become my wife. And she presented herself to me sometimes in a year. <clears throat> right in this very area sometimes. I probably assume sometimes it would go to probably 2003 or something. Uh, 2002, 2003, met her first in Ostrava. She's from Ostrava. With a big tits. Big tits. Okay, I'm not saying. I'm not saying anything. But somehow it wouldn't click to me. There were other females in the picture, and she just insisted that she's going to be my wife no matter what. I did not go for that and just about perhaps maybe even two years later sometimes maybe in well that was probably even earlier probably sometimes in 2004 something like this uh, came up with the idea that a psychologist Justinka um, she's not gonna do anything she doesn't want to have anything to do with me um, instead of that that she's gonna assist the psychologist Justina um, who also according to these people became extremely extremely popular uh, Harry insisted that she has a superior 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 ability to become popular wherever she goes and now this was a Czech Republic she did came to Czech Republic and this big titted lady claimed along Harry too and few other people too that she is the most wonderful person and this must have been in year 2003 actually they ever met they are excited about her the whole Ostrava is just in love with her uh, and for that matter that she will no longer insist on relationship with me but instead of that that she will just um, especially because of this psychologist the psychologist is so wonderful that gave them the ability to retaliate for everything I do just by basically making arrangement with her that about the torture physical torture remember the improper carrying backpack spine breaking um, seiosis issues that kind of stuff that brought me sometimes in 2000 and 2004 2003 in a very serious issues already that I would lay down on a bed and it would be like you would plug me on a current something like this and the pain from the spine and the, the whole body started to twist like that this is the kind of stuff that went on this is the kind of stuff they were doing to me and that for everything uh, anything and everything that I would do bad you know, they tortured and for the bed that I would return they would give to her the list of what I have done and I would get punished according to that she would just make a list she had a list and she would be writing down what I did and for everything I would do I would have to pay with my blood literally because it was the Justinka according to her according to Prince Harry he multiplied the abuse issue through insisting that she had amazing ability. Why is she so popular? Why is she so popular? And then he would pop up in my head. Criminally, he would insist that it is because she was doing this kind of stuff, writing down, and people loved her so much because they were able to retaliate against me through her. This is the kind of spot. Czech government have found along uh, a Buckingham Palace along the Berlin against me. This is the kind of a name 
using a doppelgangers and stuff like this, they started to build against this Polish girl from Lodz. Okay, she was doing this kind of stuff. No, they were using a doppelgangers. They were using their own people uh, with idea to get her destroyed completely. Nobody hated her more than Germans. This is just the way it is. Brutal. And this is a woman talking to me right there. She remembers nothing. She knows nothing about the route there. She remembers nothing. And this shit, excuse me, is standing in front of me and talking to me. Don't, don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. This is sometimes it gets like this. Uh, Czech government was just really, really violent. Uh, this is the man I asked along the way. Uh, the house would be actually right here. Uh, he would not give me any kind of response. Uh, this house, in meanwhile, who knows, might have become his main residence, but I don't think so. I think this was always his uh, weekend. We call this in Slovenia weekend. This is like when you would go Saturday, Sunday, you know. Uh, out of the city to to get some fresh air basically uh, I think I Uh, in meanwhile, she already has a child, and she is with the children with, I don't know, she was with a stepmom, whoever. Uh, this is how she got literally to this place. Um, <sighs> this woman, Ostrava, uh, it's basically like this. If the police would eventually test me on her, uh, I believe that I should be able to even analyze her home, her location, and stuff like this. If I would get like a multiple questions about where she's coming from and this and that, I should be able to even point out. I think another issue, there is a possibility that she is uh, originally even like 20 or 30 kilometers away from Ostrava, but I'm not, I am really, really not sure, boy, this was extensive MK Ultra that lasted for like 23 years. Uh, so many people, so much information involved in it, it's kind of impossible, but if you would set me up with multiple possibilities, I absolutely will, I'm sure, point her home, uh, tell her about it. Still, I'm going to stick with the original, that she is actually from Ostrava. Either Carolina, further in the opposite side of where I am right now, in that direction, and even further, uh, or just as I stated, 20, 30 kilometers from this place, something like this. I can't tell, I don't remember everything. And I'm not going to go into this. Uh, she is laughing. She recognizes me. She is laughing. She says, I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, we are laughing. She says, we don't know each other. 
ข้อข้อโอเค I tell her uh, I point her out that she is from here point out the home that she is from here um, she says she she doesn't remember but I tell her that's okay but I do remember you ha 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 <laughs> and I said mother does not want to remember me right so this what we are talking about here right now is a daughter-in-law this is basically a wife from the husband that is a son of the lady that she is right next to us This is what we I tell that the mother the mother and this is again another proof because this is all the stuff that I would not know I could say that this is her mom, I could think that this is her friend, I could, there's, there's a million ways I could make an assumption, whatever it is, but I'm very, very specific here. She does not know, she came here later, I tell her, for her daughter-in-law. Uh, but you, you are originally from here. So here, I are again, I specify who is what is. Now, they are laughing, they are nervous because they know that nothing I did not miss anything and so this is yet another person I identify Okay, uh, I try to have a conversation with them. I ask them how long they are around and this and that. They give me no information. This is... <clears throat> they don't know me. Uh, they're laughing like this. I know them. I have just identified them. More than that, uh, I make a conclusion. Excuse me, a fucking waste of time. Seriously. Uh, when I think about what went on during MK Ultra. And I see this creature in front of me doing this kind of stuff. Let me explain to you something. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that I might actually even follow up with the police. Uh, if I file actually a criminal charge against you based on a terrorism, a terrorist charges based on torture and stuff like this, you're going to end up in a jail for a decent amount of time for giving me this kind of information. You don't even realize the serious with this problem. I lost 26 years because of people like you. This is not a game. No, nothing. They don't know nothing. I go, I go. Yeah. 
Ale jo, ale to je až, až daleko. Uh, okay, folks, uh, this is so stupid that the only thing I did was I turn around and I walk away. I didn't even say goodbye, thank you, or something like that. Basically, I turned around and I just walk away. This is this is how stupid this shit is. This is really like stupid, stupid, stupid stuff. Stupid place, stupid behavior. Stupid, stupid place to do the stuff. Stupid one. I'm talking to the man here. He's got a new car. He managed to rebuild his home, everything. This I already told you all about who these people are. Uh, I have explained about him. And I'm asking him again about the road. If he remembers, if he recalls. This was the guy who instructed I shouldn't even talk about this stuff. Um, this kind of a stuff that I said that they build the homes and stuff like this, this I went completely, completely wrong about that stuff. Completely, completely wrong impression I got. They totally brainwashed me about the stuff that I have spoken about at that point in time, about what was down in the valley, about in the valley. That was a total, total mistake. Um, I was already, I already explained all about it. Disregard this information completely. Uh, 
I asked him if he remembers any Americans here. I said you would not remember anything about he's like he does not know anything about that ever was any kind of road he does not remember any Americans he does not remember anything so nothing I remember nothing nothing they didn't remember nothing I'm like completely stupid I guess uh, at this point in time I tell him you're a sh you're a sh schizophrenics here in this area Schizophrenics. Uh, I make it clear, there's a lot of you schizophrenics here. A lot of schizophrenics here. You're also violent people. You don't remember what you were doing to me here, I tell him. You don't remember anything about what went on here. I remind him of the guy with a home, with a dog, what he was doing under MK Ultra, with a dog. I said, you don't remember anything. You don't like to remember. It's not convenient for you to remember. I tell him, do you know what you have done? You have, you have, you have caused crime, a terrible crime. I tell him, you know what you are afraid? You are afraid of the jail. I tell him, the only thing that keeps you alive right now is that you have a President Zeman, Miller Zeman. Now, in respect to Miller Zeman, I take my words back. Uh, I was very, very mistaken in respect to Miller Zeman. Miller Zeman is the one is okay. Bobbage is the one that is a problem. Bobbage and the possibility in this case has it because has it because this is the man that is very very much associated with the mayor of the Ostrava that a mayor of Ostrava alone is also involved in this problem which later on translated a little into vandalizing the vehicle and so on and so forth. Uh, Miller Zeman, this is an awesome dude, actually. By the way, I just want to say that I want to thank him, anyways. I explained him what a torture is, if he understands at all. I tell him, you don't even have a face to look at me in my eyes when you're lying. Now, I give him a piece of doubt. I, I, should, I should say I return him for his piece of doubt. I tell him, you're a liar. You're lying in the face when he says he does not know. Because I know him very well.
And that's basically when I turn around and I walk away. This man uh, on the pitch already some 20 years, 100% uh, owns this place uh, 17 years, 18 years. Uh, 20 years I would give him in this place already. He purchased this place here. Um, I walk away from it. Uh, and that's all there is. But because of what took place under MK Ultra at this location, because of um, because of uh, this kind of approach that these local people have toward me, before I leave, I make sure that I call them a liars, schizophrenics, and I remind them that for a terrorism for the hijackings, for the torture, for the death threats, for this kind of stuff, it's a jail term that you get. And then I walk away, basically, then I go back to a Poland, to Haupki, basically. would not even give me involved in MK Ultra with another woman. They wouldn't even give you a green light on... Uh, this stuff with the comments, everything is on a tape. If there was a road... Light. Oh. At this point in time, I decided I will no longer pursue with the questions in this place here because I still have to go to Haupke. Uh, this is in the hours. Uh, still, I don't see people outside and so on. I just go uh, as fast as I possibly can back uh, toward Poland, toward uh, basically Haupke. You have no idea. Uh, I'm still basically in Ostro, and another I don't know. Ten eight kilometers or something like this before I'm gonna reach uh, Haupke basically in the evening sometimes God knows when. Uh, as I proceed on the other side uh, video I have already recorded I proceed uh, toward um, toward um, toward Haupke I go through here, I go through here, and again I found myself on an old road, uh, basically right next to the lake. This is the lake that you see here. It's known. Please excuse me. It's known as uh, Korunka Harmonichki Ribnik, something like this. Big ass fishing pond. Let me tell you abounded abandoned with the fish I'm sorry I don't have all the videos uh, they might have stayed on a SD card on a phone something like this um, in a Czech Republic once those were stolen from me uh, this is the place I go uh, how exactly is the knowledge uh, my knowledge in respect to this place well it's actually quite outstanding it's actually mind-blowing it blows the roof of even somebody that doubted that I'm going to remember and so on and so forth. Let's go with this video here first. There were all together three homes. Three homes. Um, let me put it this way. No, on this whole lake. All these little homes that you see, all these little houses that you see now here, the three were not, but much more than five in year 96, 97, um, even a 98, it was not. You understand me what I'm saying? You want more proofs about MK Ultra? You want to test me about MK Ultra? You need to talk to the people from the Czech Republic, all their people, so they can tell you how many homes were on this 
fishing pond in year 96 and 97. I'll tell you what, not many more than five, six perhaps, something like this. Then sometimes in 98, the number picked up for another and so on. Uh, people really caught uh, my, uh, I really got attention, all right? Uh, the, the, the stuff I was interested in, they were just going crazy about. Whatever, whatever the hell was interesting to me, the people would just like, whoom, immediately they would go for it. And somehow they did not get disappointed. At least I should say they didn't get tired of my ideas. And before you know, now you are already able to see that there is like, I don't know how many of those boats, okay? Uh, now this is really interesting part. So if you want more proofs about all this stuff, a phone and get a pensioner, get a mayor, get somebody who was and who knows, and they're going to tell you about the stuff I am talking about. Here, in year 1996, now you can see 96, 97, maybe six of them. Now there are plenty. No, let's go up to six. Five, six of them. No more than that. Um, the third, the third one was probably someone that I will say nothing about any. Only if I get asked questions. Let me see. Yeah, but this has just got Some to me, this issue. Five, but I can record three. five, 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 six of them. Three on one side of the lake, and it was like two on the other side of the lake. That we were took because it goes right along the lake, but there is a big ass puddle right there at the end of this. Uh, it still is. That puddle is still there. Uh, that puddle was always over there. That puddle was over there 25 years ago, 24 years ago. It's a funny, funny puddle. They will not go away. It's still there. Uh, and one time, Chrissy, sometimes probably 98, he popped inside in there so badly, making himself dirty on his way to hostel. He was all filthy. <laughs> Then it was a prohibition. Another one complained about it, probably just to get me off the map, because I, I was the one who always insisted. Here, I think here, but here, 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 the same way it was, the same way. This is an old route, my friend, that not, nobody takes it anymore. Not even people who live here. This is an old route. To Hawopki. To Hawopki. Not, not, not Hawopki. This is my action is bad. Hawopki. Today I am going through the oldest route. I did not go through the forest. This place always appeared to me like a dead forest. Because it, look at it. <laughs> I know it's more abundant than abandoned than what it was. Go through this here, it's fine, so I would not recommend this, but I still remember the route. And so, Chris used to call this like uh, Chris was fantasizing about this place. This is a place uh, totally um, humid, uh, it's kind of a really dark, strange, strange, strange place, but beautiful. Oh. It's a really beautiful part of the world, I think, with a beautiful people. Uh, by the way, the pants, the pants that you see me wearing, just a quickie we're going to give this stuff here. In the Czech Republic, the one who wanted to be big, seen as a big, the pants that I'm wearing right now, this pants here that I'm wearing right now, precisely this pants. Uh, this is what... Let's do it again. The pants. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate it one time. If they 
have not stolen them from me, I do not know. I did brought them back to Slovenia, definitely did. The pants, either this very pants or the pants, this pants, it's like a jeans, but this kind of color. Um, let me explain something. Oh, you did not even see this. You, you have not seen any of that stuff. Hey, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is this is basically the the. No, oh, that's not good. This is basically the lake here. I think you have seen that, and then it's just not much. And this here, this is the forest. And I'm talking about the pants. The pants is like this. The pants. This is go also. The pants. When you will be coming back, for me, when you will be coming back to Ostrava. The one who invested heavily in Ostrava, actually, I'm not going to say it was the Buckingham Palace, but the Buckingham Palace was the one that has a, had a entire delegation of business people with them. And so the London here invested big time in this part of the Czech Republic, this Ostrava, this big. They have invested vast amount of money into it, uh, building businesses and all kinds of stuff right in this area here. They invested here. And when you come to Ostrava, I want you to have, you know, once they build this um, Carolina here, this, uh, this mall here, this Carolina, this was one of the first things that was built here. Um, Forum Nova Carolina is this year. Eventually, the asshole, the monkey that appeared here that wanted to make an impression on everybody uh, just happened. So, was a Prince Andrew. And a Prince Andrew, um, if you ask me, a real, real clown. Um, who claimed that he's gonna demonstrate us all how to find a quickly a job? He would not know. He would not speak not Czech Republic, uh, Czech language, Polish language, or anything. He did not understand anything. He did not understood anything. His only defense was English and employment agencies, and he created like some kind of a game uh, among the test subjects test subjects they send them into a job search and so he promised me when you're gonna come back to Ostrava then these are gonna be the pants that you will get I got this pants at the local used clothing shop in Lourdes for like a record 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 low price and really when I came to Ostrava uh, I did came with this pants Plus that, he told me, uh, you're gonna get fat, you're gonna gain weight, uh, then they, it's, it's gonna, they're gonna fit you very well and this and that, and once they go, you're gonna gain weight, uh, the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arrange them to pick them up from you, because I don't want you to look in this pants, uh, you gotta look slim and this and that. He had a great difficulty back then to wear those pants. He boy barely could put them on his ass. And I'm not even saying that this were his number. But he was quite funny in those pants. Okay. Where exactly do I exit this forest here that you see? Well, I exit one right here. Somewhere. Uh, where is this rail that you see it here? Uh, and eventually what I do, I cross on the other side of the rail and I come here at this location, here at this place here, 
here I cannot demonstrate you anything because Google Maps did not record anything. Maybe interesting information for the Google owners. Uh, the only thing I'm going to tell you because they were right here, right with me, next to <laughs> the MK Ultra handlers, right next to me, that there is no way that I possibly could remember something like this. This is where you go up here, then you go down. That I will not, of course, I will not be able to demonstrate all this. Now you can see we have broken also that kind of limit. And I have demonstrated you far beyond what you actually believed even would have been possible, right? So now you can see that we already are way past that stuff. So this would be somewhere, oh, let me see, uh, the road that you see here, somewhere here, um, I did turn this way, and then I did go through the forest here. We would, usually whenever we would be going to the Ostrava, with a Chris, uh, we would be going through this very street here. We would be coming here through Verbichka, and then we would go here from Valem. Right here we would come, and then we would cross, cross the railroad to the other side, and then we would continue. And in all them seriousness, right through the forest that um, I have demonstrated to you. Here is where I recognize basically another individual here. Uh, this is the uh, employee who confirmed me works here already 25 years. Uh, this is a railroad attendant. And I also know everything including about the building itself, that this was the only building that was the most uh, in the best condition. In other words, I make a claim that this one here was in a bad shape. Um, this one here was renovated. And this one here was in a special bad shape. Unfortunately, my friends, the Google Maps don't work here. Uh, and thus I have no ability uh, to demonstrate anything more than what I state here. Uh, they have me inside here, this ro railroad attendants, they love me, plus that what I do, and this is again, what you do is, if you have any doubts, you call the police of Ostrava, let's say you take a phone and you go shuk, 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 hello, police in Ostrava, mayor in Ostrava, we would like to ask you a question, and this one in particular, I am exactly referring to the issue right here. Or if you want here, this one here, this is a lake here, you see this lake, this beautiful lake. Well, yes, yes, but sometimes in year 2003, I think, the lake was severely, severely, severely polluted. And it was severely polluted because of this, I think, whatever the hell this is, coal business. Uh, cement business, whatever th this building, the processing building here is, they made a pollution, my friends. Big ass pollution, very, very bad stuff. It leaked right inside of the lake somehow. I don't know what the hell they have done. It was a big, big, bad no, 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 no. Uh, a big, bad stuff for environmentalists right so you may want to know this <laughs> again if you have a doubts about the stuff like this do it because the railroad attendant whom I have identified all the way to 25 years back and I did so because he promised me he would do some things with a train and stuff like this language and so on he would do as soon as I would come that I would recognize him I didn't go completely facial, I had some idea about it. You know, you don't recognize person just like tuck, 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 tuck. It's a lot to do with 
the way people act and stuff like this and if they want to help you out they help you out the way they tell you they alert you about the stuff they do already on that MK Ultra. if you if they if they are in this kind of mode that they help you out this gentleman did so and that's why basically he's also one of the people I have identified and so and him and the building and even the stuff he did not know about and that's actually the pollution that took place sometimes in the year 2003 so that's all you gotta do it's a easy really easy stuff for you to do if you want to do it every one of these videos I have provided you with offer indisputable answers here it's all with proofs it's all supported with the proofs with the actual witnessing that a fake witness of somebody that would not know what he's talking about definitely would not give you this kind of information let's go to the audio recording I will translate also this one and then what I will do is I will separately offer the whole audio recording uh, I'm gonna burn one separately so it can be clear uh, audio recording I'm not gonna attach this like I did in some cases to to the video Uh, sir, please tell me something. I see him immediately. I know him. Uh, you did work here 25 years ago, here, right at this place. Am I correct? So, and he says, yes, I did. Now, this individual, I want to be very, very specific about him. This one is very, very, uh, he's a character. He was like, I have a quite a large date on him. He, he was like, he always acted like he had like an interesting you, you just you see him and you know him he was like he acted more secure than what he should in my opinion uh, for instance he was like given an impression like he knows totally everything like he knows absolutely everything and he was like they were asking him a question and did you wrote yourself down this information by the way and stuff like this and he was like <clears throat> you know i know you know i absolutely know uh, i already remember i remember this you know just that he comes and i remember it was not like this exactly it was not exactly like this yet of course i'm not saying he remembers very well knows what he does but so yeah he confirms me that he was here 25 years ago already for the past 25 years he already works here this place yes that's another person identified uh not such an old person or anything like this no 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 he is in his uh, 50s uh somewhere around like 50 something like this in his 50s
ne, to je podlá, to tady bylo. To je podlá, tady, tady bylo. Ale tam na teď, to vzádně neví. To vzádně neví. Uh, I'm gonna be straightforward here okay the gentleman how can I say he is a little bit uh, out of touch here um, the building here that you see this stuff here whatever the hell this was uh, it's gone for one thing um, this here the, the the windows are still broken inside just as it was in year 19 just in that it's left basically in the same condition as it was in year 1995 1996 1997 uh i assume like since 97 and up or something like this something like this broken windows and stuff like this uh, I am not exactly sure what exactly happened, but they did broke something, windows and stuff like this, and then they never fix it. Okay, the asphalt, this that you see here, this is how the hell. This was the first thing they renovated. This what you see here. Um, definitely asphalt here in the back is new. Okay, let's go on. Uh, the building itself that you see here this is the building he is located in this building uh, this building basically is like this right uh, this building was in the best shape now what exactly was in the best shape and the best about this building that was in the best shape was this portion of the building right here that you see it this is what it was other stuff was not in a such a good shape in this building actually it was quite not good looking uh, but this building when compared to other buildings was simply this i'm really sorry i did not video record it, but damn it in front of him to go and record the building this is also not an easy thing and the google maps does not provide any information about it here um, he will not give me um, a green light on it, but this is the only building actually that was not renovated. How about that? So that means if it was a 25 years ago, this and it's still up to date. Uh, there's only little things that have taken change here in respect to this building this was actually definitely was in the best possible shape building i don't get the recognition about this stuff the man is very reserved he's giving me hard time really It still does. It still does. If it wouldn't be, it, it would renovate one. It must be really good. I mean.
I don't have the videos and I have no idea what uh, basically I'm talking about at this point in time basically here this is this is a trouble to me this is difficult without the videos like this videos taken away from me this is difficult but you know I provide I provided you with more than abundant proofs again Um, uh, luckily for me, luckily for me, I clarified that a building was eventually renovated, and he tells me that building was renovated four years ago. Uh, that means until four years ago, the building was as it was, uh, in a shape the way it was. And this definitely was in the best uh, possible condition, in the best possible shape, the building. Because if it wouldn't be, they wouldn't be in there. Uh, so that means for 21 years when we were home, coming here, they did not renovate this building. So this was, of all these buildings, in far better condition than any other building. Uh, he tried to get me uh, to believe that because I asked him about this stuff here about the Vengel about this stuff here this is what I think this is this here I'm not I don't even know what it is which one it is see that stuff here that this is eventually uh, two years old and I am kind of uh, happy that he said that and I continue I want to get from him if this is two years old really two years old because why am I asking him I'm asking about the pollution that this 
cost to this lake here. This is, for God's sakes, this is what I want to get before I get out of this part of Ostrava, basically. He, however, does not remember. He cannot recall any, any of this stuff, even that he's been here for 25 years. He is the most famous um, rail attendant here, and he just does not remember that. I want to say big thank you to this Mr. Railroad attendant because he helped me out a lot. I appreciate your help. Thank you very much. This is what I would expect of the people that participated in MKUltra. However, unfortunately, not everyone was as nice as he was. Um, he also gave me the confirmation that this is not two years old. Stuff that I asked him about. Wengel and stuff like that. Uh, eventually he tells me it's been there already since from forever okay so now again if I according to the language according to what you 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 hear you're gonna hear if you speak Polish if you speak Czech language I don't even speak Czech language you will understand me that you will understand that I wasn't gonna walk away with the news that he gestured something about two years or something like this. I wasn't going to weigh anywhere. I wasn't going to walk away anywhere because I know what I'm asking about. I'm asking about 2003 pollution of the lake. That actually blows away any kind of theory about two years and stuff like this. I know why I'm standing right there. I know what I'm asking. Even if he repeats something about two years. I don't know what he's talking about two years. There's some business over there that is for two years but the business I'm asking about that caused the pollution out there that business has been there since from forever since from the beginning since the beginning of the time when we were there in 95 and 96 and so on I wouldn't even go what is there to think about that stuff <laughs> Okay, the cement, whatever kind of stone processing building is there for two years, a business. Uh, but I, I'm asking him about the coal business, which was there since from forever. Uh, was it in 2003 there was a big lake pollution? This is what I want to. This is this is the stuff I want to know about. Okay, uh, he just does not know. Ting 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 ting. A telephone number. Hello. Ostrava, da -da 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 lake such and such, you can you can see it here. Was there a pollution in year 2003? That's the stuff I want you to do because this is your job to do. This is for investigators. This is the lake right here. Hermanichki, Hermanichki Rybnik, Hermanichki Rybnik, Korunka. All right, to make myself fair and square, uh, clear and simple as it gets. That's all I have to say for this uh, video. Uh, this is how it was uh, on my first day to Ostrava. Uh, this is quite a decent portion of Ostrava also identified uh, through the actions like this that you would not remember unless you would be there. You know, that's how that goes. Um, nothing else for me left other than to say thank you for watching this video. Till next time and the audio recording is going to be uh, processed that I'm going to include that separately.